And when I got to the car, Sam's body was laying across the middle. And that's when I noticed that just the steering column was there. He had taken out the steering wheel with his chest and he had hit into the windshield. So he had a little blood on his forehead, a little blood out of his nose, and he was just taking deep breaths. And I said, don't move, buddy, don't move. And then he forced himself out of the car and landed on me, and I fell to protect him. And I was on my butt, and he was laid across my arms, and he was looking up, and he started talking to whoever was there that he saw, and he was going, I don't want to die. I don't want to die now. And, I, and I, I said, you're not going to die, man. I got you. And then it dawned on me that he wasn't there, that he was seeing somebody. He goes, I don't want to die now. But why now? Oh. Okay. Okay. He just took off. And I, his eyes shut, and I felt him go right through my face. But it wasn't until someone came up and, and shook me and said, how's he doing? And then I realized that he's gone. He's gone. And after that, then time turned back into time. 